Hello, welcome to BizWorld. Local small and medium enterprises, SMEs and businesses have been urged to be at the forefront of digital transformation. Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad cautioned that the country risks losing out on potentially new innovations and untapped talent if local industry players do not catch up with Industry 4.0 and its advancements. The fourth industrial revolution will change the kinds of jobs needed in industry. Our strong view is that as a nation, we must create the jobs of the future. Our goal must be to automate work, but humanize jobs. Allow machines to do the dangerous and repetitive and ensure we human have the capacity to do the creative, empathic and interactive parts. He said this in his speech at the Beyond D Paradigm Summit 2019 organized by Serba Dynamic Holdings Berhad earlier today. Don Dr. Mahathir also noted that a paradigm shift among SMEs, especially on innovation and creative solutions, was key to propelling the manufacturing industry forward as it accounted for 98.5% of manufacturing companies and 42% of employment. Malaysia's national debt rose to 1.09 trillion ringgit in 2018 from 1.08 trillion ringgit in 2017 based on accrual accounting. According to Chairman of the Special Select Committee on the Budget, Dato Sri Mustafa Mohamed, the amount comprised of federal government debt, debts guaranteed by the federal government, and one Malaysia Development Berhad's net debt. The amount also included other liabilities in comprising public-private partnerships, private finance initiatives and PBLT syndrome Brahad, a unit under the Minister of Finance Incorporated, amounting to 184.9 billion ringgit. Di bawah uh, accrual accounting ini, kita perlu melihat kepada uh, asset liability sepenuhnya, termasuk dalam tanggungan masa depan. Itu perbezaan. Kalau cash, kita rekod transaksi saja. Ya. Hasil masuk, duit masuk, kita rekod. Tetapi accrual ini uh, kita uh, rekod juga tanggungan. Ya. The government had adopted accrual accounting in 2011 in line with the International Monetary Fund's Guide on Public Sector Debt Statistics, which applies the same method. The government began the process of migrating from cash-based accounting to accrual accounting in 2015, which would be completed in a year or two. Effective engagement and collaboration between the government and private sector will ensure the achievement of one trillion ringgit exports target this year. According to the Ministry of International Trade and Industry meeting, Malaysia recorded 998 billion ringgit in total exports last year, short of 0.2% of surpassing the one trillion ringgit mark. Despite all the challenges last year, 998 billion to the one trillion mark uh, was achieved is good results for now. Of course, we 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 do we are concerned that we did not meet 100 percent of our target. But this year round, let's hope and pray that we will. And my officers, as well as the private sectors who are working with us, are work, uh, collaborating very hard to ensure that Malaysia will be a market that they will source from. He was met at the Beyond Paradigm Summit 2019, officiated by Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad earlier today. Dato Darrell also noted that Malaysia is a country that has different markets that made investors to divert their businesses to this country. Produa Automotive Kadua Syndrome Berhad Produa has revised upwards its sales target for the year to 235,000 units from 231,000 units set earlier in January. In the first half of 2019, Produa sold 121,800 units of vehicles, a 4% hike as compared to 117,100 units sold in the same period last year. About 121,000 uh, units of sales, 121,000 units. Uh, 43,000 is actually my V. 
and then 32,000 Asia, 22,000 Beza, and Aruz is about 15,000, Alza is 8,000. So 36 or 37 percent still Myvi is our production, you know, our, our volume. He said this when announcing the company's first half 2019 performance review earlier today. Dato Zainal added that performance backed by sustained healthy demand for all is modeled. In January until June, total booking stood at 190,765 units, an increase of more than 3% in the same period last year. Last year, Pro Dua sold 227,243 units with 38% market share secured. And that wraps up Biz World this evening. I'm Kanai Ling. Thank you for investing your time with us.